it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're here to show you a another keg for the Blade Beer. Here it is. It's a relatively new keg to go in the Blade. It's a Greek beer called Alpha Hellenic Lager. It's 5% ABV. There's a look at it. So this is an 8 litre keg. I'm going to show you how to load the keg and then we're going to do a beer review. Um, interestingly with these kegs, this keg's turning up in cost cutters in the UK. And you, you know, you have a look on your, your beer wolves and, and your, your bigger websites and you can't find these kegs. It's almost like an underground thing, like Facebook group thing that, you know, you're able to pick up these kegs in cost cutters rather than big websites. I mean, it's really cool, little bit more expensive. This keg cost me £41, but the shop owner did tell me it's because of the recent um, taxes and uh, import taxes with the, with the Brexit that's just happened. I'm recording this in very early 2021. <coughs> Kicking bottles over on the floor. Right, so you take the dome off. Pull down the, the nozzle. On the blade all you're touching is the orange part of the blade so you can see there's an orange mark in there on the the blade beer and um, there's an orange or there's a red tap so we're gonna undo that pull that off spin the keg over and then push down quite firmly on that orange button and then what you do is you grab your keg, I tend to grab the line at the same time, put it between your fingers, spin the keg, so you've got the, keg, the line between your fingers so you're not going to catch the line, you're not going to trap the line in the system. And then what you're doing is you're feeding the beer in, like so, getting your line in there all the way down, locking your line into position. Shutting that up, locking it down. There's a lock switch. That pressurizes the keg. Put your dome on. Now it's pretty cool here in my conservatory, my home bar, pretty cool place. It's about three or four degrees in your here. So really it shouldn't take too long to cool this keg. It'll, I reckon it'll do it in about 20-25 minutes. So I'm going to leave this keg cool down now and then we'll show you what the pour's like on this Alpha Lager from Greece. Okay so beer is nice and cold. What you want to do first is just pull a little bit of beer through the line. Turn the light on as well if you want. I always pull a little bit of beer through the line. Just to fill the line with beer. When you pour the first beer off, get that line full. And then you've got a much better chance of pulling a really decent beer. Um, you can either throw it away or, or do this with it. And here we go. Not bad at all. So beer in the glass, two finger white head, slow moving carbonation, clear looking beer. To be honest, I've never heard of Alpha. Um, there was a bit of talk online. Um, a few people actually messaged me and said, have you got the new uh, Blade, the new Alpha Greek beer? And I was like, no, 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 well, no. One message was yes, I've got it. 
and uh, one was from a previous, a couple of days before, and I just said, no, I haven't got it, but went over my local cost cutter, picked up a keg of it, it's nice and cold. Nice, nice and cold. Big fan of the blade. Really, really big fan of the blade. Probably my my favourite beer machine out of the Krups Phillips Perfect Draft is the Blade Beer. It's for me. It's the Roll Rolls Royce of, of, of beer machines. So let's get the aroma on this clear looking lager then. Light, crisp, in the aroma. It's like kind of hoppy, lemony aroma going on. Spicy, peppery maybe. It smells good. Let's, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Super cold. So the machine chills it down to three degrees for you. Really soft water quality. Lovely, soft, clean water quality. Um, really makes the beer very, very refreshing. With it being kind of, it's very cold at the same time. With it being cold and refreshing, all, all comes together really, really well. Um, In terms of flavour, it's like grassy note going on, peppery, spicy, nice amount of bitterness, really drinkable, a really drinkable, clean, refreshing lager. I have had a look on Rape Beer at this beer because I knew nothing about this beer. It's brewed by Heineken, Heineken in Greece. They're going to have a big market out there. People wanted to drink beer, but a lot of the reviews are with the beers in green glass bottle. And there's a lot of people saying how skunky the beer is. The beauty of the blade and the beauty of having this on keg is that it's not going to skunk because it's in, a, it's in a sealed keg. There's no light going to be hitting that keg to, to cause that skunkiness. It's a chemical reaction. So, you know... What I'm trying to say here is, you're drinking the beer at, at, at the a premium quality, premium quality. And with it being 41, let me check my maths. Four litres, 41 would make it. I'm sure it works out at about eight, eight litres. It works out at about just over two pound a pint, I think. Good lacing, very refreshing, very drinkable, clean, crisp lager, ideal for a beautiful spring, summer, autumn's day when you're feeling rather hot, maybe just cut the lawn in the, in the garden, need a beer to cool you down, perfect, absolutely perfect, and it's well behaved, poured very well, looks very good, tastes very good, I'm going to give it a rating. I'm really glad I picked up this Alpha keg. I also picked up some other kegs as well. I've got about four different blade kegs down there to review over the next few weeks. But I'm really glad I picked this up. Um, there was a bit of a buzz about it, a bit of excitement. Uh, new, new Greek beer, uh, or not new, but a new blade keg with Greek beer in it hitting the UK. Especially with so many kind of Belgium and German beers stuck in this whole Brexit process where they can't, they can't get it over to the UK or UK importers can't get it over to the UK. It's great to be able to see a, a Greek lager hit us. And uh, for something new to try, it's always nice to have a new beer on your, on your beer machine. I like that enough to give it a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.